What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, guys. How we doing? As per usual, 10k in the comments, like the vid. So, if you're new for a chance at winning 10k stubs on MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty, um, guys, as per usual, today is Tuesday, Market Talk Tuesday. We always go over the market every single Tuesday. Is this episode 13? I believe so. Uh, we're just gonna go over the market and we're gonna tell you guys how to make stubs how to do this how to do that um, How to just make the most amount of stubs um, pretty much so let's get into it um, Right now what I'm noticing is let's see what's in store and what's coming up the next week This is how we always start market talk Tuesday. So we got the five headliners. I did not get anything out of those unfortunately uh, Let's go over to what they have dropping um they have a fuzzy reveal no one cares about that um let's see nope wrong one let's see we got new legend content oh god don't we have those new six inning legends oh god we're gonna have a lot of signature series cards dropping and what that means is the market is gonna crash so whoo okay so guys a lot of news here the market is gonna crash on about Thursday, I would say. Um, Thursday, the market will be crashing. You guys need to stay prepared for that. So what I'm gonna tell you to do, the market is actually somewhat pretty high right now. So with all, what, I, what I'm saying is, go ahead and sell every single player you have, your gold, your diamonds, your investments, anything you have. Um, only thing I would not, actually no, sell everything. This is why, because last time they dropped signature player packs we the market crashed so bad that the mlb community was actually sad and like upset um especially for kids who had a full team they lost thousands and thousands of stubs luckily i did not as you can see i have 400,000 stubs chilling so listen signature series packs they drop the market crashes in half literally in half everybody goes down in half what you guys need to do sell your team rack up as many stubs literally go in your binder sell as many uh sell anything you have any uh commons you have any bronzes any duplicates make sure you get as maximum stubs because you're gonna see the signature players pack drop you could buy a bunch of them and make profit on all of them um you could just buy any player and make profit on all of them once those packs are gone you'll make profit off any card you got off the auction block so what I'm saying is, for instance, where is this? This Gary Carter, when it first dropped, was around 130-something. He dropped to about 90-something, 80-something, and now he's at 110 again. Um, he'll probably go up even more, but when that stuff comes out again, he's going to go back down to 80, maybe even 70, and he's going to rise back up to probably 100. So when those packs drop, it's just go time to make stubs. That's literally the cue to make stubs. This Lou Gehrig is crazy. Um, so, yeah. Let's see, we got, let's go over some investments as well. A very good investment right now. The Ryu that did not go diamond, like I said he wouldn't. And the Story that did not go diamond. Very good investments. They're at their cheaper value. Brad Hand is also a very good investment at 1,900 stubs. The bet, one of the best closers in the league. 27 for 28 on saves. 2.38 ERA. He's absolutely amazing. He's just so good. I, I'm obsessed with this dude. He has, he literally strikes out the side a lot. Like, he has a very good K for 9. He's very good. Um, let's see what we got. So that's a good investment. Zach Granke's a good investment. Even if the sick packs drop, even if the sick packs drop, you may lose a little stubs, but if you wait for the sick packs to drop to get these investments, since there's no roster update this week, it might be a very good time to pick up your investments when those sick packs drop. Just, uh, take that into consideration. So Zach Granke might go diamond soon. He's at 84. So my five top investments right now, I would go Brad Hand. Nola's not doing too bad. Um, Brian, Nola, let's see. Zach Granke. Where's Ryu and Story? Ryu and Story. Story's at 35, 29. When that sig pack drops, he might be at two like 2K sharp. Like no nothing else above 2K. So story at 2K. Very good buy. Next up, we got Ryu. Um, let's see. Blake Snell isn't that bad either. Blake Snell could definitely go diamond soon. Where the hell is he? Alright, right. 3.4k. Um, dude, this card is actually very, very good. Um, 3.4K, you could probably get about 25-2 when the sick packs come out. What is it, Thursday or Friday? Whenever those packs come out, 
expect the auction. You you know you know you you saw what happened last time. Ramirez is actually playing very good right now as well. He might be a very good buy. There's a lot of people that might go diamond this week or next week. I should say no roster update this week, but. If you guys want to rack in investments, not a bad time to do it, but I'd rather wait till SIG packs drop. Um, definitely going to be way more worth it when the SIG packs drop. You'll make maximum stubs because if they go diamond next week, it's an auto 5K. They automatically could quick sell them for 5K. And yeah, so very good investment. Sterling Marte is not a bad investment. Michael Bradley is not a bad investment. Very, very, a lot of good investments. Sugar Diaz at 3K. I can't believe he got downgraded. That's upsetting. Wow, I had a sellable one. And I didn't sell him. Wow, that's really embarrassing. So, yeah. Uh, he went gold. But let's go. So, let's look at some diamonds. I actually want to check out my team. So, this is what I'm rolling with now. I sold my whole team. This is what I'm rolling with. Pretty much a bunch of free players. Like, all these dudes are free, in my opinion. I grinded for them. Uh, besides the Pete Alonso. I actually have some Chris Bryant, some Xander, some Bryce. I have a Bryce Harper. Damn. So, yeah. I have all these cards, too, as you can see. On my bench. It's pretty pretty good i didn't really complete any collections but see this is what i'm saying when you sell your team and you've been grinding since day one like me you're gonna have a team like this still you're gonna be able to win games with it let's check the rotation this rotation is not the best is not the worst but think about it if you grind it a little bit you're gonna have a pretty much free team like this and you're gonna be able to win a lot of games online no matter what so take that into consideration if you're selling your team now and you grind since day one. Like, I have 400k stubs with a stack team. And I still have a mad investments invested in. So, if you're like bugs and you grind it all year, you're going to have that team with a ton of stubs to invest in when those packs drop. So, a lot of the cards that go down are usually like, like Baez and Bryant's and Machado's. You're going to see a lot of them go down. This Brian McCann's going to drop a lot. That's actually a really big price gap. Let's see if I can get that. Um... The price gap is going to be really crazy. Just make sure you're on your stuff, man. Um, This 95 Morris is crazy. Um, Make sure. Like this Benito right here, he's probably going to drop to 30K. This Garrett Anderson, all these dudes right here are going to be like 5K. I'm not even kidding. Everything they drop all, on the on that day is just it's just going to destroy the auction. It's going to flood it. This Upton's going to be about 30 to 25K. Jimmy Fox is going to be at 15K. CC is going to be at freaking 35K. Oswald's going to be at like 30K, 35, 40 Trout's going to drop probably 20k. Because right now, the auction is at its peak. Like, honestly, I haven't seen the auction this high in a minute. Um, Because they've been just dropping, crashing, crashing content. Um, Listen, they're just going to try to keep crashing the auction. After they drop that sick pack, they could drop a stub sale, like, next week. That's what they did last time. It honestly worked out pretty well. But then right after that, the all-star break came and they dropped more packs. And they crashed the auction again. So... Think about this. So if they drop sick packs, they're gonna revive the auction with stub sales. So you wanna try to make you wanna try to buy as many players as you can because they know as content creators, they know that the stub sale is gonna um crash the market. I mean not the stub sale, they're gonna know that the signature series pack is gonna crash the market. So what they're gonna do is right after the sick packs are gone, they're gonna drop a stub sale. Why I'm saying this, they did it last time, and I also said you're gonna need invest uh, money to invest in, stubs to invest in. Uh, in the market because they're probably going to drop a stub sale. They need to drop a stub sale. The market's too crashed. What did they do? They dropped a stub sale. I told everybody to pick up players. The people that did made a ton of stubs. The people that didn't lost stubs. So that's what I'm saying. Just stay prepared. What I'm saying is very accurate. They like to crash the market and revive it with a stub sale. It's been their method for like the last couple months ever since the game dropped. So yeah, signature packs come out. After the market crashes miserably, you pick up. As you can see, 400k stubs will be invested in. After that, the stub sale comes in. You make so many stubs, you're going to be a millionaire. You're going to be a stub millionaire. After the stub sale, I could be a stub millionaire. We'll see. Um, hopefully, they drop the stub sale. It's a complete prediction, but honestly, my predictions have been very on point as of late. But anyways, man, um, if you have the stack team like I do, no matter what, with all those stubs, you're lit. It's not the most stacked, but it's going to win you games. It's going to win you online games. You should be very good with it, uh, especially if you have Pete Alonso and Vlad and Miggy. Um, they're not the best, but you know what? They get the job done. All of them are hitting above 300 for me. I'm not the best player, but you know what? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys take this to your knowledge. Market Talk Tuesday is set. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more videos. Madden is coming out Wednesday night. Get ready for some crazy Madden content. I know you guys are hyped. 
I'm hyped. Madden content. Oh, I'm so hyped. You're going to have Madden. If you follow me on Madden, guys, get ready. You're going to make a ton of coins. The coin making method videos are going to be crazy on Madden. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Peace.